Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss how our C program executes. So mainly there are four steps in execution flow of C program. First, preprocessor, second, compiler, then assembler and the last one is linker. So let's start. This is our main.c which is our source code. Firstly, this source code is given to preprocessor and we get expanded source code. In our source code, all the statements starting with hash that are hash include, hash defined, these are called as preprocessor directives. These preprocessor directives are executed and expanded by preprocessor. That's why the output of preprocessor is called as expanded source code. In second step, this expanded source code is given to compiler. Compiler mainly does two things which it checks for syntax error and second, it converts high level language to low level language. Further, we get assembly code as an output of compiler. In assembly code, the extension is .asm for Windows operating system and .s for Linux operating system. Further, this assembly code is given to assembler which convert assembly code to machine code and we get object code. Object code, its extension is .obj for Windows and .o for Linux operating system. In the last step, this object code is given to linker. Linker combines object code of source file and library files. Linker combines data section and text section of source file and library file and also Linker links definition of function and variable defined in other file. That's how by these four steps, finally, we get our executable code that is .exe file and .out file. Thank you.